All right, with this demo, what we're going to do is we're going to place your uh, player start entity. Um, very simple step. Just go to your entity tool, select that, go to your drop down menu on your entities, and you'll notice if you were to go up from light, uh, you're going to go to an info player start. What info nodes are is just things that tell the game what to do. Uh, you'll be placing these when you want characters to do particular things or objects to, to move in particular ways. And so you now have the player start, and this is just the spawn point of the game. So go ahead and go back to the 3D uh, view and just place it. Now one of the things you'll notice is that the character is, is hovering in the game. And so we're going to want to uh, move the start point a little bit. And you can fine-tune this adjustment in the 2D version, or the 2D view. Uh, go into the 2D view, or first go to the selection tool, select the character, go to the t 2D view, and one of the things you'll notice is that uh, maybe your grid is not the where you want it to be. It could be fairly far out, and you try to adjust the start point, and you come down, and you're in the floor. You want to make sure with your objects that you don't bury them into your brushes. And so when you put vehicles or other things into the game, make sure that they're not buried into the brush. And you also don't want them hovering, although physics will take care of that. It just looks pretty sloppy. So adjust uh, the grid so you get a pretty fine grid. And this is going to allow you to do uh, fine adjustments with your start point. So with the fine grid, I can move him just about any place I want to. And now I have a pretty good start. The last thing I'm going to want to do is just show you a way to adjust, uh, make another adjustment in the game. So double click your entity and you notice that you have in this upper right hand corner uh, a little directional arrow, arrow and that's going to show you where it's, uh, the direction of the object is. And You can adjust this so let's just get him looking out the corner of the room. So adjust that, hit apply and now you notice that your entity is sitting in the corner of your room as opposed to traveling against a wall. And there you have it. You have your player start. We're one more lesson away from actually having a game that worked.